worth of two and a half million. And I, I think um, I think that there's a calculation error right now in the birth death model that is it's very, very simple. Um, prior to the IRS and some of the law changes, if you were to apply to get an employee identification number, an EIN, that in the good old days used to mean that you were actually starting a company and in many cases hiring individuals. But now if an individual is uh, is working a, a side job, a gig, working for driving for Uber or DoorDash, um, they also are filing for employee identification numbers, which is going to kind of artificially inflate the birth side of the birth death adjustment. And that is indeed what we are seeing. It was curious that the Bureau of Labor Statistics did not blame at all the birth death model in the release of August payrolls on September the 5th. And in fact, said that it was having uh, challenges with getting employers to respond to the survey. But that seems a bit of a stretch given the prior two years uh, downward, large downward revisions to uh, at the time of the annual benchmark did indeed end up going back to that birth death model being broken at the moment.